Here's how to post photos, polls, GIFs, and videos to your community tab and how to delete a community post. And I share a must know tip for sharing video links in your post, so stay tuned for that. You gotta just press record. Once you're on youtube.com, you wanna come over here to this plus button with the camera and you're gonna select that and then you're gonna see upload video, go live, but we're gonna create a post. And if you don't see the create post option just yet, that means you don't have 500 subscribers and YouTube actually mentioned that they wanna make this open to even more people. So maybe down the road, this will be less but as of right now, it's 500 subscribers and it'll take up to a week after passing 500 subs to get the community tab on your channel. But once you select create post, it's gonna bring you to the community tab on your own channel. And right in here is where you can create a post. And you actually can just post like a status, just straight up text if you want to. Now, once you write something in there, you can either post it right now or you can actually hit this down arrow and you can schedule a post. But before you do that, you wanna make sure that the visibility is set to public. You can also post something for all channel members. So if you do have a membership set up, I don't have a membership set up on my channel, but if you do, you can actually create a post just specifically for the people who are paying to be a member of your channel. So for me, I'm going to leave this on public and then I am going to schedule my post. All you have to do is select these down arrows and you are going to select the day you want to upload as well as the time. And you just kind of scroll down and you can put in whatever time you want. And then the local time, you can just leave it to whatever your time zone is. And from there, you can hit schedule. Now, once you've done this, if you scroll down a little but you're gonna see there is a scheduled tab right here. And this is going to have all of your scheduled posts right here so that you can see them. These aren't public yet, but this is just a way so that you can quickly view them. And then if you go back over to published, these are all of the public community posts that you have on your channel. Now, in order to share an image, it's really easy. All you have to do is click add image. And from here, you can just drag on a photo up to five images or GIFs. And once you let go of that, it's going to show you a preview because if you post a horizontal picture, it's actually gonna do a cropping unless someone clicks on it and expands the full image. So I definitely recommend when you are posting photos to kind of optimize it for the community tab. And that optimization is actually found right here. It says to upload an image with an aspect ratio between 2.5 and 5.2. Now I kind of recommend just going with square images because this is gonna be really easy to post onto all social media platforms. So you wanna create an image within the two to five or five to two ratio. But if you wanna just make it easy, you can make it one by one, which is a square image. Now again, you can upload up to five different images. And then once they're in here, you can actually edit the preview. And so this is what the preview is gonna look like when someone's just scrolling on YouTube. So if you hit edit preview, we can actually move this over. If I wanna kind of showcase the battery, maybe a little bit of my eye, I can do that. I'll hit save preview. And then when someone actually clicks on it, it is going to expand that. We can do the same thing over here. We'll go to edit preview. And then you can just go through and do that with all of your images, editing the preview exactly how you want. All you gotta do is hit save. And then if you wanna upload another photo, photo or a GIF, you can do that right here as well. So right here, I have a GIF of me and Omar kind of celebrating from a past video that we did. And I just used Giphy.com. I exported a square video from that video that was like 10 seconds. And then I just trimmed it down on Giphy.com. It's all for free. And you can upload these to the community tab. I think these are a lot more fun than photos. So definitely experiment with creating your own GIFs and posting those on the community tab. And yes, you can do a combination of GIFs and photos as well. Another fun thing you can do is create a poll and all you have to do is click add poll and then at the top you're going to have your question once you have in your question you can start adding in different options and you can actually add another option all the way up to five different options and this is really one of my favorite ways to do a community post is through polls because it's really easy for the viewer to just select the one that they like the most and then instead of having to type out a comment it just makes it really easy for them to interact with your post now there's a button right here to actually share a video to your community tab but there's actually two different ways to do this but first, a real quick hack for you guys. If you go into your YouTube studio and then you go down here to content, you can actually go over to post. And this is another way to view all of the community posts that you have posted or are posting in the future. You can see right here, all of these are public. And this one is the one that I scheduled just now with you guys. And from here, you can also go into the details if you wanna make any changes or you can click on the comments and read some of those comments and reply straight from the YouTube studio. Now to actually delete a community post, it's a little bit tricky in the YouTube studio, but there's an easier way to do it. So I'll just show you both of those right now. So if you go into the details from here, you can click these three dots and this is going to allow you to delete a community post. So we're going to go ahead and say, yes, I do want to delete this forever. And then boom, that community post is now deleted. You can do that with scheduled posts or you can do that with posts that you've already posted. I just said posts a lot. Going back to your YouTube channel, if you go over to community, you can actually just scroll down and go over here to the three dots and you can delete it if you want to delete right here. You don't have to 
go into the YouTube studio. I find this to be a lot easier if you want to do that. All right, so let's check out this feature on actually sharing a video. So really easily, you can just select the video and then you can choose a video that you want to share to your community tab. This could be one of your own YouTube videos, but you can also share a video from someone else. If you just want to spread that to your audience, you can do that as well. So for me, if I want to share this video about Growth Video Live to my audience, I can just paste the link in here and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit select. And just like a normal post, I can go ahead and add in some text. I can actually tag any creators that I wanna tag. And this makes it a really easy way to post about a video and share it. And then when people see it, once they click on that thumbnail, it's gonna take them directly to that video. And speaking of Growth Video Live, if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, make sure you check the link in the description. Especially if you're looking to build your personal brand and grow an online presence with video, you definitely want to be there. And the other way is just to share the link directly to your community post. And there's actually a benefit to doing it this way. Now, when you're sharing your link, a lot of people are gonna go up here and they're gonna hit copy and then they're going to paste that right here. And that is going to work, but that's just a bit too long for me. The better way to do it is actually to go back to the video and then you're going to hit the share button. And this is going to give you a URL that is much shorter. So once you hit copy, we're gonna go back to this post. And when I paste that, you can see how much shorter and cleaner that is. So I definitely recommend if you're gonna share links to be doing it this way. And the benefit of doing it this way is that you can actually create a poll or share an image with the link still attached. So when people see the link, they can just click on it and go straight to the video, yet you still get to have an interactive poll or share a different image than the thumbnail. Now, if you wanna learn the best practices on how to actually use the community tab to get more views for your videos and grow your channel, then click on the screen and I'll see you guys in the next video.